filming a video and I found these two little dogs. These little guys. And they were scared to death. There's one right there and then the other one right here. And of course my dog kind of looks intimidating I guess. So she's over there scaring them and you know I'm afraid to leave them out here because it's cold out here in the winter time. So I think uh, I'm going to try to catch them without getting bit hopefully. Hopefully they don't have some diseases or something but they're real nervous. Looks like somebody just abandoned them. So I'm going to try to catch them without getting them too wound up and uh, take them home and find them some homes. Otherwise, you know, out here in the uh, southwest where I'm at, there's a lot of land out here and I don't know how they would be way out here. They must have been dropped off or ran off and got lost or something because I'm, I'm out north of town about 15 miles. So I'm gonna get these guys hopefully and uh, find them a good home. One of the things I'm going to try to do is I'm not going to reach in there with my hand yet because if I do I might get bit but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stick as an extension of me I'm just going to touch him and let him know, hey quit, my dog's over here thinking it's food or something. I'm just going to touch him and let him know that I'm not mean, nice and soft and hopefully I can move closer this little guy without him biting me, without him getting too worked up. Come, come here little fella, come here little fella. Look, I'm not going to hurt you. I start with the stick because if he's going to bite something, he'll bite that stick. And the stick is a connection between him and me right now. I'm just trying to ease his mind, let him know that I'm not here to get him. Not here to hurt the guy. Not here to hurt the guy. It's okay. Come here, little fella. Come here. There you go. There's a good little boy. Here, see, I'm not going to get you. See? Yeah. My dog is scaring him. See that stick lets him know that I'm not hurting him. But it gives me distance, you see. So it kind of lets him know at a distance what my intentions are and they're not to harm him. My dog is scaring him. My dog's over here just staring at him. Come here, little guy. Let's set this camera down and hopefully still capture the situation here. I need him to establish the fact that I'm not here to get him, to hurt him. And he's way up into these bushes. There he is. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm here to get you out of here. My dog is just staring at him. Go on, Blondie. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Come here. Comes time to actually get him out of there. Hey, come here. 
gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. My dog is like really making things difficult because she's over there like sniffing them and scaring them. When it comes time to actually get him out of there, that's the moment that's going to be difficult because I'm going to have to move him and it's going to make him uncomfortable. I'm going to have to do it in a way that is real cautious, you know, because I don't want to get bit. Come here, little guy. It's okay. It's okay, smell. I handle I hand him my hand like this. So there's not a lot that he can bite onto. Hey fella. Just relax. It's okay. Just relax. I don't want to startle him. He's already a nervous wreck. If I had a glove, I would just reach in and grab him, you know. Come on. Come on out. Feel good on your ears. Don't you like getting your, your, little, your little ears rubbed? I just move in real slow. Come on, little fella. Let him know that I'm not here to get him. Come on. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. patient with these little guys. So the first thing he's going to try to do if he gets scared is he's going to turn to me and bite. So I need to have my index finger ready against the side of his head so that if he does try to do that he's not going to be able to turn towards me. Look at he's he's starting to realize that I'm not here to get him. He's starting to relax. Come on little fella. Come on little fella. Come on, little guy. My dog is not making this very easy. Come on, little guy. Come on, let's get on out of there. Come on. He's scared. He knows something's about to happen. Come on. Come on, little fella. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wish I could have captured that on film. I had the wrong angle, but when I first grabbed him, he opened his mouth and he was just terrified and. I didn't do nothing to him. I just eased his little mind. He opened his mouth like he wanted to bite. He was so scared he couldn't even make a sound. So I just held him nice and not tight as in hurt him or scare him, but just firm as in like a mother would when their baby was, was scared. Now I see his little brothers acting like he might want to come out. He sees that I have his little brother with me. He came out there for a second. I think he might be the one that's going to be difficult. But anyway, I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to go put him in the I'm, I apologize for the crappy camera work. I've got one hand on the camera and it's, it's out here. 
This little guy, he's just so scared, little guy. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find you a good little home, buddy. Come on, let's go. It's okay. It's quite okay, buddy. Quite alright. It's fine. Ah, uh -uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna get you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise. Look at my dog is just making it hard. Come on, buddy. Let's go put you in the car. Then I'll come get your brother. Okay, this one is the one that's going to be difficult, I think. See, there's a barb, there's a, a fence here with the wire. And he's on the other side, and he's like buried under this tamarack tree. And it's going to be hard to get him, I think. He's, uh, I tried to catch him a minute ago before he hid there, and he growled and tried to bite and everything. So he's, he's a little more uh, trying to protect himself than the other one was. So I might have my work cut out on this one. But... As with many things in life, if I'm patient and I don't, you know, maybe I can use that stick again with him. And I'm talking a lot right now to let him hear my voice and all of its tones and sounds so that he doesn't, you know, freak out when I finally go trying to get him. But he's got beautiful blue eyes. Of course, you got my dog over there being a dingbat, creating all this noise and stuff, probably scaring him. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Come on over here. I'm going to find you a home. Because if you stay out here, buddy, it's going to be coyote food. You're going to be coyote food if you stay out here. Yes, you are. You need to come with me. Come on. I'll find you a good home. I promise, and I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. And my dog won't hurt you either. Come on, little guy. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come here, little guy. I don't think he's going to... I'm going to have to go in there and get him out. And it's going to be difficult. Uh, let me go hop the fence, and I'll get around to the other side, and maybe I can get a hold of him. Okay, everybody, here's the scenario. I'm pretty much losing daylight. So with this second pup, I gotta get him out of there before it gets dark. And I found this uh, little sheet on the on the on the ground here, so I'm gonna use this as some sort of protection for my hands. Some makeshift gloves, so that I don't have to risk getting bit by this little guy. So I'm just gonna make me a little bit of protection here. Something to put around my hand because I don't want him to bite me. I don't have a lot of time with this little guy, so I gotta kind of get after it. I'm losing daylight. Come here, buddy. Come here, little guy. He's he's a little bit mean. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get him without scaring him too bad or hurting him. I know I'm making a bunch of racket, but I gotta get in here a little bit. Okay, just like the other, I think I'm gonna try to set this down and get it on film that way. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Come on, there's nothing to be afraid of. Come on out of there. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, quit. It's okay. Just settle down. I'm not holding him hard. I'm just holding him. Just scared him. 
Come on. Oh, quit. Oh, stop. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, it's over. It's over. Look at you. You did a good job. Yeah, you were scared. You were... Look at this little guy. It's over. Let's get out of here. Come on, little fella. I'm going to take you to your brother. He did pretty good. He just got scared. I didn't... I He started to bite. And so I had to pin the poor fella down to nullify his attack. Not that it was much. But I didn't want to get bit. Let me cross through this fence. Come on, little fella. Let's go find your brother. So anyway, everybody, um, just want to say thanks for watching. I know this uh, might have been something a little out of the norm for what I normally film, but look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? He don't need to be out here to be left behind for coyote food. I'm going to take him home get him fed, find him a good home. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and feel free to comment, subscribe, like, share, thumbs up. We'll talk to you later, everybody. Have a good night. Look, I almost lost, uh, almost lost daylight, but anyway, had to move quick. Here we go. Later. Bye.